Hey guys, welcome to the 3 Animation Hub. So you could say this video is a little late. It's a lot of like one, two, it's three weeks late. This video is three weeks late. Now, as much as I would love to go full-time YouTube and be providing content for you guys on a regular basis, um, I do have to have a full-time job to actually support myself. So at work at my studio, we're in uh, crunch time right now. If you don't know what that is, is when it's an essential time in part of the production where you get some crazy deadlines and so you have to put in a lot of a lot of OT. So right now I'm probably averaging around 15 to 20 hours of OT a week. So long story short, I won't I won't you know talk about that too much. The OT situation should end within a few weeks. Uh, so hopefully I can get get back to a more regular schedule. But anyways, back to this video. Um, in this video we're gonna be talking about how to apply the same animation to multiple different characters or rather copies of the same character. So in this particular example, we're gonna have the same character in the scene multiple times. So it's gonna be the same character three or four times uh, with the same animation, but offset. So this will be something that uh, a crowds person, the person that's in charge of like crowds animation will be doing maybe. But uh, I ran into some technical problems, which we're gonna talk about, but that'll be a little bit later in the video. So before we actually hop in, um, I would appreciate it if you guys could fill out a survey for me. I'll have a link down below and uh, pinned in the comment section. It wouldn't take more than two minutes of your time and I would really, really, really appreciate it. So with that said, let's just hop into this week's tutorial. All right, so first we're gonna start with the problems that I ran into. Um, and then I'm gonna show you guys how to fix that and how to actually do this. I'll have everything time code for you guys, so don't worry about that. You can just click and select where you want to watch, what you want to watch. Uh, so the first thing we're gonna do is I'm going to link in uh, our rig. For me, that would be the rain rig. And so I'm gonna press link. And oh, all we see here is action. So I'm gonna go ahead and select all of these so we see everything. And I want to go to collection, uh, CH rain, which stands for character rain, I believe. Link. And now we, are, we have our character. Now that we have our character selected, I'm gonna go to object, relations, make proxy. And if I'm going too fast for you guys, I already have a video on how to um, bring this character in, how to set her up and everything. So you guys, I'll link that at the top right. You guys can go check that out. But uh, anyways, we have our character here, we have Rain. And we got our controls. So I'm gonna move her to this side right here. And I'm going to repeat this. So I'm, again, I'm gonna go to uh, CH Rain, bring her in, and here we go. We have a second character. And so let me go ahead and go to Relations, make Proxy, Rig Rain. And now something weird happens. Now, if I move this, uh, if I move the controllers on one, <laughs> I mean the other one moves, but you got you guys see what's going on here. You got you guys see what's happening. It's just it's a lot of oof, <laughs> and so we got a problem here. Like what the heck is going on here? I move one control, one character, the other one just starts flickering, and one controls the other, and that's not what we want. Uh, so what I found out is that. From a friend of mine who's a lot more experienced in blender and has been using it for several several years nine years ten years um, apparently blender doesn't really have this option uh, at work we have add-ons that does this for us automatically so we don't have to do this manually and you just use the add-on to bring characters in um, but i had to go and try and find a way around this to try and fix this issue or try and again go go around this issue rather rather than fix it so one thing we came up with is if we do this so here is my blender rigs here's rain and um, this is essentially what you get when you download the character you get uh, these two files what I'm gonna do is I'm going to uh, control C and control V the main file so 2.2 and then control C control V and then name this one 2.3 and so it, it seems like the only way that I could find to go around this now if you guys uh, know of a way to do this that I don't please let me know down below in the description but uh, the only way I found is to actually copy a version of the 
original rig file and bring that in instead of the same file, which is what you can do in Maya. So anyways, let's try this again. So here I'm going to go to 2.1, collection, ch rain, bring that in. Okay, now we got this guy here. Now let's try this. Link, go back, 2.2, collection, rain, our, make sure our second character is selected, and relations make proxy. Okay, so now when I move one, okay, I, <laughs> I know what's happening, I can see that too, but uh, this is while you're moving. I'm gonna let go and it's gonna fix itself once I set a key. So it's just, it's a little weird, uh, but I feel like you would really only do this if you already have the animation in a separate file. And so you can apply that to the second character. But uh, we did fix the problem of uh, the first character not affecting, oh, sorry, the second character not affecting the first character and vice versa. So it's a little weird when you move stuff around, but at the end of the day, they are doing their own thing. And now back to uh, what we were gonna do before, which is apply the same animation to both characters, but with the ability to offset them, which if you've tried that before, you'd know it does, it's not really so simple. You can't really do it so simply. And if it does end up staying weird, all you have to do is just move the timeline and that'll like fix any glitchiness that's happening. Um, as far as I know, it's just a visual glitch in the viewport. And so it shouldn't really affect your animation at the end of the day. All right, so here's another file that I have opened. This is where I have my animation in. So this is the same rig. And this is the animation I quickly put together. It's pretty much a cycle and I made it that way just so um, you know, it's just not popping off. And so I'm gonna apply this animation to both of those characters. Now, what you have to do is go to the other file. I save this as a Blender file, you just save. I'm gonna go to the other file. And what I'm going to do is here, let's go to the first character. And now I'm going to click on the animation tab. We got our dope sheet here. I'm going to change this to the action editor. All right, so we got our action editor. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to append the file that we were looking at before. So, and so I'm going to paste the directory in and this is it. And so th this is the file that has the animation in it. And all I want here is I'm going to deselect everything. So we just see the actions or we just select the actions. All I want is the actions. So I'm going to go into action and we don't want the camera. We want the character proxy action. So I'm going to append this. And now we can come here into the action editor and go to click the downwards arrow. And, and I believe this is the action that we brought in. So I'm going to click that. And now here we go. Our character is moving exactly like our other file right here. So we applied the exact same animation to that. So now the next issue we run into is if we want to apply that same animation to this character, for example, here's what happens. It seems like it's working, but the second you actually move this, the other character disappears. Because what's happening is you're changing the same animation both characters are using. So if you move one, the other one is going to move as well, and they're both. So right now what's happening is both characters are actually in the same location. So if I play this, it starts being really weird and both characters start playing inside of each other. All right. Now, how we go around that, how we actually apply the same animation to the second character is by going into the second action and then clicking this icon that says create new action. And so once we press this, now we have a copy of the other action. So now we can go ahead and select everything. Don't mind the visual issue that we're having here. We can select everything and we can have it play a little bit earlier. And so now we have the same the same animation on the same character and we've offset one to play sooner than the other one. And we can modify the second one however we want and it will not affect the first animation. Now I know this was like eating your meal from the back of your head from to the other side and then into your mouth but this is just, um, as far as I know, this is how you can get this done without an add-on in Blender. 
Um, I have heard that they are working on this uh, in the, some of the newer versions. This is something that is on their minds. Um, but as far as this version goes, you can correct me if I'm wrong, but I think this is the only way to do it. Um, I'm sorry if I lost you at some point in this tutorial, because I'm sure I did. But regardless, I hope you enjoyed it. Um, if you did, make sure to smash that like button, hit the sub button to stay notified of future videos. Um, don't forget to fill up that survey if you don't mind. And if you are looking to learn from other creators, Skillshare is offering two free months if you sign up through the link down below and you have access to thousands and thousands of creators teaching you all sorts of lessons. And there's all sorts of courses there that you'll have access to for free for two months. So anyways, with all that out of the way, happy animating and I will see you guys in the next video.